Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to talk about the digital minimalism paradox. In this video, I want to help you lead a happier, more productive life. And if you're interested in minimalism and digital minimalism, I think you might have an issue. I'm going to help explain the problem so you can work to overcome it and lead a more mindful, fulfilling life. If you're new here, I'm a business owner and wealth manager based in the UK. And on this channel, we talk about technology, productivity, and minimalism. If that sounds of interest, please consider hitting that subscribe button. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the digital minimalism paradox. The issue is that minimalism has created many modern day problems in our lives. So many of us are addicted to social media, messaging, gambling, Netflix and games, and we do it on our smartphones, our tablets, or our computers. I'm going to focus on smartphones, which I think are the biggest culprit. A mobile phone is the perfect minimalist device. If minimalism is about less giving you more, smartphones tick that box. With a smartphone, you don't need a separate mobile phone, camera, computer, calculator, car key, radio, TV, books, sat-nav, alarm clock, watch, notepad, torch or wallet. You don't even need to leave the house. You can get stuff delivered. And if you do leave the house, you don't need a car because you can order an Uber. It's the perfect embodiment of minimalism. And now, with the way smartphones are designed, they are minimalist by design and function. Just a thin slab of glass with a couple of buttons and a charging port. There is the paradox. Smartphones are the worst thing ever for digital minimalism. It's Cal Newport's fault for calling his brilliant book Digital Minimalism. He should have called it, look, come on guys, you're addicted to your smartphone, it's making you miserable, ditch it and your social media accounts, and you'll be happier. Probably. I don't know. Maybe he pitched that title to the publishers, and they said, no, come on, Cal, no one's going to read that. So he said, oh, what about digital minimalism? But you cannot have digital minimalism with just a smartphone. As small and as innocuous as it looks, it's a Pandora's box of information. It's the whole world in the palm of your hand. If you strive for digital minimalism, you need more tools at your disposal than your smartphone. And more means you're not working towards that minimalist ideal lifestyle. So, what's the answer? The answer is simple. If you want to be a digital minimalist, fight your inner minimalist. Let's change the term digital minimalist to digital Zen master, working towards a world with fewer distractions. In terms of being a digital Zen master, more is better. Single purpose devices are better. I've made a few technological changes over the last several months to improve my digital Zen mastery and they are working. Okay, so I'm a geek. I'm writing my ideas for this video on a several hundred dollar e-ink remarkable device. It will not ping and tell me I have an email. I cannot be distracted to surf the web because it doesn't have a browser. But if that seems excessive, and it definitely is, use a pen and paper to write notes, just not a phone or tablet. I bought a Nokia feature phone to use as my daily mobile phone. It's a great phone, but a rubbish computer. I own a camera to film this video. I'm not filming it on my smartphone. I was using my smartphone to open my car, but now I use my car key instead. I've gone back to using cards to pay for things, not my Google Pay, my Samsung Pay or Apple Pay. If I want to watch Netflix or YouTube, I'll do it on the TV. Okay, so I said the answer is simple, which it is, but it is not easy. It involves time, 
effort, planning and money. How much money is up to you, but more will cost more than doing everything with one mobile device. Minimalism is about simplicity and less, about being more mindful with less. But the world is complex. Most of us need a mobile phone. We need access to email. We need access to the internet. So we need to give ourselves access to these things in a way that allows us to focus on what we need when we need it and allows us not to be distracted by other things we don't want. Digital Zen Mastery is about doing this with devices that can do less, even if that means more devices. But in doing less, it helps to give us what we want from minimalism. More time to be present. Fewer distractions. Fewer opportunities to check emails. Fewer opportunities to binge that Netflix series and more time to be in the moment. In conclusion, if you're looking to become a digital Zen master, then be very focused on your technology purchase decisions. Know why you are buying your technology. For me, the perfect definition of minimalism is not about living with less, but that what we own meets these four criteria. I need it. I want it. I love it. I can afford it. Be conscious in life of having too much stuff for the sake of having it. However, just as importantly, be aware that more can be more to achieve digital Zen mastery. With this in mind, we can master the digital minimalism paradox and live happier and more productive lives at the same time. If you've enjoyed this video, click here to watch my video how Cal Newport's Digital Minimalism Changed My Life. Until next time, I've been Alex. Thanks for watching.